Welcome, dear doers. Small businesses such as Stealthy Wood face a regular problem: managing expenses as the company grows. Moreover, we struggle with data accuracy and providing our staff with correct and up-to-date expense reports. These problems come from our reimbursement and expense policy. Doing everything on paper makes it difficult for everyone to fill in expense forms, delaying reports, and frustrating employees waiting for reimbursement. To make it easier, Stealthy Wood wants to incorporate an expense management software. It will help us track spending and reimburse our employees promptly. While helping us with our expense reports, each employee will attach copies of their receipts directly to the expense, so we won't lose them anymore. And as we integrate this app with accounting, we'll make sure that no dollar goes to waste. Finally, administrators will have a comprehensive view of Stealthy Woods finances and will gather insight, so we can move toward a cost-effective strategy, allowing for more realistic budgets to be planned and achieved. So let's jump into Stealthy Woods database and see how this works. All right, here I am on my database. Let's go straight to expenses, and right off the bat, we're going to go to configuration settings. From the settings page, we want to be sure that we have the incoming emails option activated, which will actually allow our employees to submit expenses by sending an email to the alias that we have set up. All right, but since I already have this activated, let's go to configuration expense products. Here is where we're going to see a list of all of our surprise, surprise expense products. Now we can create a new expense product directly from here, but we can also create an expense product from anywhere where you can create a product. You just need to be sure you have the option can be expensed checked. But let's look at a product that we already have set up. So it is just a regular product, even though、um, in the expenses app you're going to see fewer fields. But that's all right. Let's go ahead and click on edit. We have some general information, so the product type. We also have the cost. Now, the cost isn't necessarily the most important field to populate because it does depend on the expense. So, for example,、um, if I take a customer out for lunch on Tuesday, it could be more or less、uh, expensive than、um, a lunch I had with another customer on Wednesday. But we, of course, it's up to the employee to、um, correctly add the cost of that expense. All、right then, we have our unit of measure, and below that, we're going to have our internal reference, which is very important if you would like your employees to submit expenses by email. All right, you will need to add an internal reference, and as you can see here, it will be、um, your employees will need to use this reference as a subject prefix when submitting、um, by email and an expense by email. This will allow the system to recognize、uh, what expense product should be used. All right, if you are in a multi-company environment, you can select the company. Then we have our invoicing section, where we have our invoicing policy and、uh, re-invoice expenses. Okay, so we have a choice at cost, no, or sales price. And then we have an accounting section as well. We, we can add an expense account per product.、Um, we can also add vendor taxes and customer taxes. But let's go ahead and save this the way that it is. All right, and then we're going to go to our expenses dashboard. So I'm going to click on expenses, as you just saw, and here is where each user will be able to see their own expenses. I can also go to my expenses here as well. All right, now I see my expenses that I need to report, but I can always remove this filter to see all of my expenses. I have the status on the right, which is really nice. Let's go ahead now and create a few new expenses because I actually recently took a trip to New York where I met with a potential designer for stealthy wood furniture. So I'm going to go ahead and create those expenses now. So I have、um, my, let's say, travel fee, flight. Okay, and then I'm going to add the product. All right. I won't change the price. Let's say it was a very expensive flight、um, from my off my Stealthy Wood offices to New York. All right. Then we have、um, the quantity. We can add taxes if we would like to. Now I just have the regular total, but let's say it was seven hundred dollars, and then there was a fifteen percent tax. Of course, it will affect the total. All right. Then we can add a bill reference, a date.、Um, we have our account, so it's just my expenses account,、um, the employee, and we also can、uh, re-invoice some of our customers. So, for example, if I want to add this to one of my customers' sales orders,、um, I can do that here. Okay. So I can select the sales order, which is really convenient. Then again, if we're in a multi-company environment, we have the company. 
and we can say who paid for this expense. So if it was already the company or if it was the employee who we need to reimburse. But I did pay for it um, from my own pocket. So let's go ahead and select employee. And then we're gonna save and we're gonna create a new expense. Okay, so this one will be a uh, lunch in New York. And I'm gonna just say that this is a general expense and it was $95 because let's admit it, having lunch in New York is not necessarily the cheapest. Okay, and I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna create even a third expense, Uber New York. We'll say that this is uh, just a general expense again and I'll say it was $30. Okay, then we're going to save this. Now, of course, we need to create a report that will be submitted to the manager who will be able to approve it and ultimately pay us back or reimburse us. And something else I want to point out before we actually create the report is that for all of our expenses, we can attach documents. So this is where we can attach uh, receipts, um, we can attach invoices if we need to, any uh, additional documents that should be added to the expense. We can do that by clicking on this button right here. All right, but now let's create the report. So I'm not just going to create a report for this individual expense. I'm actually going to group all of the, uh, all of the expenses from this trip together. So I'm going to say uh, New York trip 2020. Okay, and I'm going to add those ex all of the expenses so that I can just be reimbursed in one go. All right, so let's add our travel fee and also lunch New York so I can select multiple, which is really cool. We're gonna select, okay. All of our expenses have been added here. Um, it doesn't just add some convenience for the employee who can be reimbursed for everything right away, but it's also convenient for the manager um, so they can approve uh, multiple expenses at once. So let's save this. Okay, we have the total amount here, and then we're gonna submit this to the manager. Okay, since I am the manager, I already see an approve button, but if I was submitting, or if I was approving an expense as a manager for someone else, I would simply go to expense reports to approve, and I would have a list of all of the expenses I need to approve. So I have that New York trip 2020 right here. And you're gonna notice the status. So it was in draft, now it's submitted. And once I click on the approve button as the manager, we're gonna see that it has been approved. And again, as a manager, I can post the journal entries as well. And once the journal entries have been posted, we can go ahead and reimburse our employee. So I can register the payment. Okay, so I can choose the employee. So we can go ahead and say, um, let's say Amy Caroline. Payment method cash. All right, and then I can validate this and it goes from posted to paid just like that. All right, now what's really cool about the expenses app is not just the fact that we can submit expenses and it's super easy for the employee and also for the manager to approve these expense reports, but I have a nice reporting section as well so I can keep track of how much everyone is spending because that's also important. So if we go to reporting expenses analysis, we're gonna have an overview of what everyone has been spending. Let's go ahead and look at the pie chart. All right, so here um, I see all of my employees uh, and I noticed that actually I personally have been um, spending a lot of money or I have been creating a lot of expenses. Um, so probably someone's gonna to wanna to check out exactly what um, I have been doing um, to be sure that it's all professional. All right, but I can look at this for all of my employees. If there's someone who I don't necessarily want to see in this report, I can always remove them by clicking on the name. Okay, so Amy Caroline um, from January 2020 is removed, but I see that I have different months as well. So I have February, Amy Caroline, uh, March, April. All right, and then we can play with those time ranges and we can also um, see how we're grouping this. We have other filters as well. So this is just a really nice reporting section to take advantage of. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.